Hey guys, it's Carrie. I'm featuring desert animals today. Scorpion. They are predatory arachnids. They have eight legs and are easily recognized by a pair of grasping pincers and a narrow segmented tail, often carried in a forward curve over the back and always ending with a stinger. Sidewinder. They get their name from their unique form of sideways locomotion that is an adaption for moving across loosely packed desert sands. They are a type of rattlesnake and are venomous. Desert Crocodile In the Sahara there are fragmented populations of crocodiles. They survive the driest periods by staying in caves or burrows in a state of estivation, which is a type of dormancy or torpor. Ostrich It is the world's largest and heaviest bird. The ostrich is equipped with long muscular legs built for running. They have two toes on each foot which allows for greater speed. They can sprint as fast as 70 kilometers per hour. If an ostrich cannot flee, it will use its powerful legs to kick. It has 10 centimeter talons which cause serious harm to potential predators. They use their wings as rudders to help them change direction while running. They are able to get most of their water from the plants that they eat. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Dromedary Camel With reproduction, the males splash their urine on their tails and nether regions. To attract females, they extrude their soft palate, a trait unique to the dromedary. As the male gurgles, copious quantities of saliva turn to foam and cover the mouth. Males threaten each other for dominance over the female by trying to stand taller, spitting, biting and lifting and bending their necks backwards. The male camel will then smell the female's rear end and often bite her there or around her hump. The male will force the female to sit and then grasp her with his forelegs. The average time for copulation is between 11 and 15 minutes but sometimes can be 35 minutes. Normally 3 to 4 ejaculations occur. Bactrian camel. They live in East Asia's rocky deserts. They are able to withstand a wide variation in temperature, ranging from freezing cold to blistering heat. When well fed, the humps are plump and erect, but as resources decline, the humps shrink and lean a little to the side. They have bushy eyebrows and two rows of long eyelashes to protect their eyes in sandstorms. They also have the ability to close their nostrils as well and this would help conserve moisture. With locomotion, camels move both legs on one side of the body forward at the same time, much like giraffes and racehorses. These are some of my spare camels I didn't have room on my bench to put them in. Baby camels are born with their eyes open and can run when they are only a few hours old. Dromedary camels make up 94% of the world's camel population. The Bactrian camel makes up 6% and the wild Bactrian camel is critically endangered. Headbutt 
The Adex desert antelope is the world's rarest hoofed mammal. Coyote, they are well adapted to desert living. Like fennec foxes, they are omnivorous. In a desert environment, they eat rodents, reptiles, insects and plants. Coyotes live in packs and dig dens to raise their young in the spring. In summer, when it's hot, they have short fur to keep cool. In the chilly desert winters, they grow fluffy coats to stay warm. African wild dog, their long legs and large lungs help them run long distances without tiring. Their speed and endurance, as well as the pack structure, make them very successful predators. They are able to radiate heat in the hot climate through their round ears. Desert hair. The large ears of this hair help it to lose heat and cool its body's temperature. They have large eyes that are high on their head and placed towards the side. Fennec fox. It is the smallest canid species. Again, it's got the big ears to dissipate heat. Its ears are sensitive enough it can hear prey moving around underground. Dama gazelle. They use a behaviour called pronking to warn herd members of danger. This involves the animal hopping up and down with all four of its legs stiff. Thompson's gazelle. They are exceptionally fast runners and can reach speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. They can outrun cheetahs if they can evade them for long enough because cheetahs can maintain high speeds but for shorter times. Cheetah. The Saharan cheetah is the rarest of the six cheetah subspecies. The main prey of the Northwest African cheetah are antelopes, which have adapted to the arid environment. This would include the Adax and other gazelles. They also prey on smaller mammals like hares. Cheetahs can subsist without direct access to water, obtaining water indirectly from the blood of their prey. The Saharan cheetah is quite different in appearance from other African cheetahs. Its coat is shorter and paler in colour to help it blend in with its environment. It is a critically endangered cheetah subspecies with a patchy distribution in Central Sahara and the Sahel. Due to the harsh Saharan environment, they live in very low density. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to reply to your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.